skaters, I've got the Maxfine FF80 electric skateboard to review today and I am becoming more and more impressed by the Maxfine lineup lately. The FF80 is a well-designed electric skateboard packed with features and comforts that make your ride experience really enjoyable. I'm talking quick swap battery, puncture-free tires, and auto start among a bunch of other things that we'll go into throughout this review. For 1300 US dollars, it's creeping up into that not so affordable range, but I think the value you get from this e-board more than makes up for it. So let's see, shall we? The Maxvine FF80 is the perfect commuter electric skateboard because it is extremely comfortable to ride and tackles imperfect paths without any worries. If you're into riding off-road, the FF80 is great for you because with the all-terrain tires can handle most surfaces including compact gravel, dirt and grass. If you're not into all-terrain riding but you like all the features that come with this e-board, you should check out the FF Belt which is almost the same e-board except it has belt motors and urban terrain tires or the FF Plus which has hub motors and urban street wheels. The Maxvine FF80 deck is 42 inches long and made of polyphenylene sulfide and fiberglass which makes it durable and really flexy. The deck houses all of the electronics which is great because it helps to protect those fragile components from debris and makes the board look stealthy and like one cohesive unit. The top of the deck hasn't got your regular sand based skate grip tape, instead it has a rubber grip tape that is great. At first I thought it was a bit of a gimmick but it is actually very functional. It's just as sticky as regular grip tape but it has the added benefits of not ripping up your hands or getting stuck on your clothes and it's really easy to clean. There's this very useful handle at the top of the nose of the deck that you can use to roll the board around because it is heavy and cumbersome to try and carry around. The tail doesn't extend past the rear wheel so you can't easily lean it up against a wall so if you do get this e-board, I highly recommend you also invest in a guitar stand like this to prop your board up. There's one other awesome feature of the deck I want to show you here, and that's the quick swap battery. You unlock this latch, pull the plate up, and you have easy access to the battery. Change the battery over and you've got yourself some more range. How much range that is, we'll talk about in just a sec. Maxvine FF80 has 11.4 inch double kingpin trucks which feel amazing. They are well balanced in that they are very carvy but also maintain their stability at high speeds. I only felt a slight oncoming of speed wobbles right at the top end of the speed test. These trucks are a little hard to configure because the deck side bolts sit too close to the top hanger so you can't get a regular skate tool around it. You'll instead have to use a spanner or shifter. Maxvine do supply a spanner however, but I felt like it was just a tad too small. I really had to work hard to get the spanner on and off the nut. The Maxvine FF80 has 165mm rubber tyres which are not pneumatic, meaning you don't need to pump them up with air. I love this because it removes any possibility of getting a puncture and you don't need to check your tyre pressure ever. As for rideability and how they feel, they're actually really good. They soak up almost all of the vibrations from the roads and they take on off-road terrain effortlessly. And when you're riding on the road or footpath, I nearly can't feel a thing. It's just really comfortable. The most interesting thing about the Maxvine FF80 is that it is running hub motors inside its all-terrain wheels. We've seen other manufacturers try to attempt this, but none compares to the quality and the performance of the FF80. It has dual 1500 watt hub motors, which are expected to hit a top speed of 28 miles per hour, which is 45 kilometers an hour, and climb hills of up to 35% hill grade. Now out on my top speed test, I was able to hit a top speed of 24.7 miles per hour or 39.8 kilometers an hour, which is slightly lower than their marketed speed. And I do feel the board was still accelerating before I backed off, which 
I did because, I, as I mentioned earlier, I started to feel some wobbles. So you might be able to push it a little bit further and get a higher top speed. For the hill climb, I'm really happy with how it performed. Starting from the right side of this graphic, I hit the steepest part of the hill, which was 14%, and the speed steadily decreased down to about 12 miles per hour. After that, it started to pick back up to 15 miles per hour as the hill flattened out to 10%. For hub motors, that's pretty good considering it's only just below what some belt motor e can get. The majority of riders aren't gonna have any issues climbing hills on this electric skateboard. The battery in the Maxfine FFAT is a 12S 3P 376 watt hour pack that is marketed to get a range of up to 17 miles, which is 27 kilometers. On my range test, I managed to get 13.8 miles or 22.3 kilometers, which really isn't that far off the spec range. Generally, I get a lot less than the marketed range because of my weight and that I tend to ride a little harder for testing purposes. I also did a bit of off-road riding, which will decrease the potential range. All things considered, I'm happy with the range, but the great thing about the Maxfine FFAT and one of my favorite features is that it has a quick swap battery system. So you're not limited by the standard range of the e-board because you can pack extra batteries in your backpack and extend the range up to as far as the amount of batteries you're willing to carry. You've got the ever-trusted Hobbywing ESC in the Maxfine FFAT, and it's great. The acceleration is smooth and powerful while the braking is strong and safe. In mode four, it took me around 13 seconds to finish a 50 meter sprint. I don't have any hard data on how this compares to other e-boards because this is the first time I've started doing this test, but based on feel alone, the acceleration is very smooth and completely manageable. There isn't any jolting at the takeoff and it brings you up to top speed quickly yet safely. You get a Hobby Wing remote with the Maxfine FFAT, but it has its own unique mold similar to the other e-boards in the FF series. I really like this design because it makes it much harder to accidentally hit the buttons while you're riding. The display is great and it shows your speed, odometer, trip length, speed mode, direction, and the battery levels for the remotes and the board. It has four speed modes, one, two, three, and four, reverse, cruise control, and my favorite feature, auto on off, where you just Flick the remote on and the board also automatically turns on and pairs together. No more bending over to awkwardly fiddle around for the power button underneath the board. You also can't change the speed mode while you're accelerating, which is a welcomed safety feature. I rode for over an hour and I didn't get any fatigue in my legs or feet. Now usually I'm starting to feel it after about 45 minutes of riding, but the combination between the deck flex and the soft bushings and the rubber AT tires soaked up almost all of my vibrations and kept me feeling fresh the entire time. I think the double kingpin trucks and the concave on the deck also helped here because they made turning so easy that I hardly had to use any energy to actually control the board. The carving is really good. It was probably what I enjoyed most about riding this e-board. As for high speed riding, it did a pretty good job. I did get a little wobbly at times, but that's nothing a little tightening of these trucks can't fix. My only major gripe with the Maxfine FFAT is the inability to tighten the trucks with a single tool. Now it doesn't affect performance or rideability, it just means you have to carry an extra tool in your backpack when you head out. Overall, I am loving the Maxfind FFAT. It's a great all-terrain electric skateboard that gives you the freedom to pretty much ride anywhere. It's comfortable, making it perfect for commuters looking for an alternative option to their car or walking, and it carves really well, so you can have a lot of fun on this electric skateboard. That's it, that's my Maxfine FFAT electric skateboard review. I hope I've helped you on your journey to find the best electric skateboard that's right for you. Please ride safe out there, e-skaters, and I'll see you soon.